Hello, welcome to Skill Bell Tutorials. This is Arun here with LifeRay 6.2 Development Tutorials, session number 12. In the previous session, we have seen how to uh, store a data in Portlet preferences and how to display that. In this session, I'm going to uh, teach you how we can include LifeRay tag libs, LifeRay UI tag libs, and uh, use session messages to store and display success messages and error messages uh, into the UI. So that, that's what I'm going to uh, show you. For that, uh, you need to uh, include uh, a tag lib at tag lib and uh, you need to pass the URL. No, I think it's URI. Yeah, it's URI equal to, you can see the liferay.com TLD UI. So this, uh, this will bring you the liferay uh, UI tag libs and uh, you can use, you can use the prefix as liferay life hyphen ui after doing this uh, liferay ui uh, after adding the liferay ui we will be able to add a success message or a failure message um, like a success uh, it call a success and uh, liferay error uh, it uh, use liferay error so uh, you, you can i can uh, show you how you will do that as oh, sorry mm. I just need to do liferay hyphen UI then colon success. So this is what I need to do. So this will uh, take care of printing a success message to the UI and I need to pass a success key so I can have a different success messages. So I just need to mention that success with a key so here i'm going to uh, do a key success so i'm just going to type that key as success and message your uh, request has uh, your request processed success oh i think uh, i'm just submitting the form uh, i'm i want to um, give a meaningful message like your name uh, is saved successfully your name saved successfully so if any type of error is coming please sorry me so that that is what uh, i'm going to uh, show you now and in my wow controller after this preference store it is uh, once it is successfully stored i have to use session messages so i i can have session messages dot And session messages dot add uh, in round brackets I have to pass my action request comma a key so uh, I wanted to tell you the key which I'm going to give is uh, this one so um, so when I submit the form once the preference store uh, preference saving has been done this success message will be uh, stored as part of session messages the action request session message so uh, then um, in the rendering time the success message which i am uh, adding here your name saved successfully that uh, that success message is going to be printed at the ui that's what my expectation now i'm going to deploy this portlet is going to deploy now and now the portlet is available for use now I'm going to uh, reload the page okay the page doesn't uh, display with any messages yet I'm just going to print 
I am working and submit this. So your name saved successfully, that message successfully printed on the UI. So the, uh, we didn't do uh, much things for uh, making this uh, success message printing. So we have added our Liferay UI tag libs to the JSP and we just given the Liferay UI success with a key and with the message. And the key has been um, saved to the session messages at uh, the action request and, uh, and the key, uh, key as success and that came back to the JSP and printed successfully. Now I'm just going to uh, add a uh, session errors as well here. So session errors, there is something called session errors and dot add. So this is for uh, displaying some error messages. So you, you have to put this here and you have to add something called error. Now you go back to the view.jsp. So uh, I'm not considering whether it is going to be a success or failure. I just want to uh, show both success and failure at the same time. So what you will do, you will type Liferay, Liferay uh, hyphen UI colon, you'll have the, I think I did some spelling mistake, Liferay UI, okay, Liferay hyphen UI colon, something called error. So uh, here also, you'll have the key and the uh, error message the same way what we did for this. So I'm going to give this here. Key is going to be error and message is going to be sorry, failed to process your request. So this is what uh, I'm expecting to print at the UI. So what, what is going to happen with this when I submit the form, the WoW controller will execute and it will store the uh, preferences. Then it will add a session message that is a success message and a error message also error key also it will be adding and that error message is going to be printed at the UI with the success message. So now I'm going to deploy this portlet wow liferay again. Deploy. Okay, now the portlet is available for use. I'm just reloading the page. And uh, here is what I'm going to put as Neonic Software Solutions as the name submitted and it came with your request failed to complete and sorry failed to process your request. These things came from the Liferay UI error. So how you will handle this Liferay UI error um, at the controller side is something like you, you, you have some conditions uh, for making a failure statement then you have to put uh, this session errors uh, in between that failure conditions. For example, here I can uh, try with a uh, try catch uh, for this uh, application. So I just do a try uh, and cut the entire section here and I am expecting an exception. Maybe an exception can occur here. Uh, I'll do this catch the exception exception e and what i'm going to do i'm just going to pass this error so now what is going to happen uh, always my uh, success message is going to print whenever i'm uh, being success but if some error or any exception occurs while I'm trying to do some operations over here, 
that time the error message will be printing to the UI. So uh, let me just deploy and show you uh, what changes uh, is going to reflect with this. Okay, it's getting deployed. All right, now the portlet is available for use. Let's click on welcome. I'm just going to put a name, Spot Bay. Just submit. You got only the successful message. So somehow your server uh, getting or some exception throws the error message is going to display at the UI. So this is just an example for uh, passing data from uh, server side that is your controller to or your action phase or render phase to your JSP and that uh, render phase can um, come up with a life risk default styling of this um, a life rate default styling with this error message and success message and warning message all those things you can do at the uh, UI level. And that's it for the uh, session and in next session we are going to learn uh, the basics of service builder and we will be uh, seeing how we will use service builder to store data to the database and uh, how we can retrieve, update, um, delete data uh, using the service builder without touching the database at all. So service builder is a cool tool which allows you to create uh, the tables um, without touching the database. You don't need to manually create the tables in Liferay service builder will create it for you. That's an awesome tool. Let's um, see. Let's see and practice that in the upcoming sessions. Thank you for watching skill build tutorials. Keep supporting us. Thank you once again. Bye.